Literally just two weeks ago, I launched Chat IQ on TikTok and it, it went viral. It went insane. 130,000 views on one of my videos. We got over a thousand users onto Chat IQ in literally 48 hours. My phone was completely blowing up and the last two weeks have been insane. Now, if you don't know who I am, my name's Sebastian and I've got a lot of experience with e commerce and starting businesses. And I posted a video on YouTube about three weeks ago about me trying to launch my SaaS company. And since then, it's gone insane. I've rebranded and it's now Chat IQ.ai and you can follow along my journey on me launching it and scaling this on this YouTube channel, on my Instagram and my TikTok, which will all be linked down below. But in this video, I wanted to explain what Chat IQ is, how you can use it, and why I actually came up with the idea in the first place. So essentially, the problem that I was having with Chat GPT was if I upload a large body of text, then I get this error here. The message you submitted was too long. And the second issue I was having is the information that's basically available to chat GPT is actually quite out of date. It's basically everything up to 2021. So I thought, what if I could upload PDFs to chat GPT and I could be able to read those PDFs and get answers instantly. And the problem is you can't do this with traditional chat GPT. So I spent about two or three months going ahead and building chat IQ and working out exactly how to do this. So let me just demonstrate here. This is an example PDF that I've downloaded that is about relationship advice and just general relationship stuff. And if I wanted to copy all of this text and paste it into ChatGPT, which is what I've done here, we're gonna get an error. But what I can also do is head over to Chat IQ, and I've already trained a chatbot, so I'll show you how it works. We can actually train a chatbot on a PDF file, we can scrape a website, or we can even paste in a load of text. But it's most powerful with the PDF scraper and a website. And the interesting thing here is you can actually upload multiple PDFs. So you can create a bank of knowledge or memory for your chatbot that it's never gonna forget until obviously if you delete it but if you upload 10 pdfs then it will be able to answer questions on any of those 10 pdfs so the best example of this is if you are a coach or you have an e-learning e platform or students that are taking a course of yours you could provide them with pdf files alternatively you could get those pdf files or even transcripts from your videos and then you could upload those as pdfs to chat iq and it would build a memory bank of all of these pdfs your students could then ask it questions and it will be able to provide accurate answers of those questions to you, which is insane. So it's really easy to do. All you do is click to upload a file and then you can select your PDF. So I've uploaded this relationship advice PDF example here, uh, and you can see this is it George Hall relationship advice PDF. That's the same PDF. Once you click create chatbot, it's going to build you this interface here. Now it can take a minute or so to train the chatbot because I'm using machine learning to be able to actually extract the text. It's a very complicated system to be able to extract up to three, 400 pages worth of PDF documents. So give it a couple of minutes to create and train the chatbot. Then you can go ahead and ask questions and this is the really fun part because we can get really specific so for example if we went onto this PDF and we go to I don't know like let's say page 15 here and we ask about advanced response theory this is not something that is very obviously available this is quite a niche part of this PDF and if I wanted to know more about it I could actually go to chat IQ and I could say what can you tell me about advanced response theory so let's do just that as an example. We're gonna click send and it's going to then get response from the chatbot. So you can see it's come back and it said advice response theory suggests that people who seek advice to reflect their preferences and enhance their self-efficacy. I can't read, it's been a long day, but you get the idea. It can come back with a very specific response based on that PDF. Now, if I'd uploaded 100 pages of PDF, it would also be able to scour those PDFs for your response. Now, keep in mind, the more PDFs that you upload, the broader the responses is going to be because that information is spread over a much larger area. So if you want to keep it very, very focused, just start with two or three PDFs and work your way up and see how the chatbot responds. Now, you can actually come into the chatbot settings and you can customize the personality of the chatbot, which will actually have a effect over how it responds and how accurate it is. And in this case, we're gonna go for an educational chatbot and then that chatbot is gonna be able to provide us with questions and answers and try and train us in a way that is an educational style to improve our learning. So you could use this as a learning chatbot. You could also set it up as a sales chatbot. And this is quite fun because if you embed it in your website like this and you wanted to do a customer service chatbot, 
you can actually scrape a website. So if I come back to add training data, and as a quick side note, if I wanted to add more PDFs, I just click here and upload another PDF, and it will submit that to the memory of the chatbot, which is insane. So you can go up to 10 PDFs, and this is me, I'm currently trialing the starter plan on this test account here. Uh, so you can try this for free. Um, and basically, once you've got up to 10 PDFs, you won't be able to upload any more unless you upgrade to the higher plan. So what if I wanted to train this on a website? Well, it's incredibly easy. All you do is click on train website, and you can put in a domain. So for example, this is a URL of a random Shopify store. If I create the chatbot from this, it's gonna scrape this website here and it's gonna scrape all the information from this, all the metadata, everything, and it's gonna convert that into a chatbot. So at the moment, you can only upload one URL at a time. I'm adding in a feature which will allow you to upload multiple uh, URLs at a time. And you can train a chatbot on essentially your entire business. So if you have a customer service or you have people asking lots of questions like what are shipping times or how much is the product or how heavy is it, these sorts of things, you can actually embed this chatbot into your Shopify store. You can embed it anywhere and get responses. And more importantly, if you come into the history section, you can actually read the history from different messages within your chatbot. And obviously because we haven't had many messages here, you can't really see much, but that is the general principle of how this works. It is an insane tool and it's gone insane. So let me just show you now my TikTok account. Just so you guys know, 2,600 followers is what I've got at the moment on this TikTok. Now you can see here, if we scroll through, I'm getting an okay number of views, 2,600 views, a few hundred views here and there, but every now and again, one will get really viral. And you can see, where has it gone? Uh, here, this one got 30,000 views. This one got 100,000 views. And then this one was the one that blew up the app. Now, let's just actually go in and have a look at when I posted these because this is insane, right? This is the first time I posted about Chat IQ. This is just a video from my YouTube channel. This was a while ago, 26th. Uh, and then here, you can see this is the 5th of April I started posting. I posted another one on the 6th. I posted these around midnight, one in the morning. The 6th, the 6th the seventh and then it kind of went mental on the seventh it got 135,000 views and it was basically just over the seventh and the eighth and a lot of people signed up shared saved and this just blew up it went insane I was never expecting this level of results so in literally a space of two days it went viral and then from there on out I just continued to churn out content and continue to get results and I've now pushed well I'd say I pushed over a thousand users in literally the first 48 hours uh, this video here I posted on the 9th so two days later got a hundred thousand views uh, and then again if I look further on I posted this one on the 9th as well and got a further 30,000 views so for those of you who guys are building a business and you're worried that it's just not going to work and you're not sure whether you can see results through TikTok this is proof that you can do it now I've mentioned time and time again on this YouTube channel that this is possible and to use TikTok to scale your business because it is an insanely powerful tool so go ahead follow me on Instagram you can watch my journey you can see how things are going on here you can also go ahead and follow me on Instagram and you can see I've also been posting these on Instagram as well. So this one got two and a half thousand views, one and a half, two thousand. So Instagram's not as powerful, but obviously if I can continue to create content and post it across multiple platforms, then I'm going to create create a whole load of uh, potential customers and you know even out of two and a half or fifteen hundred uh, people that is a lot of potential customers for my product and it is just blowing up it's gone insane and I generally could not wish for anything more I am over the moon I've spent the last two weeks developing this if you guys have watched my first videos you'll see what chat IQ first looked like and it looked nothing like this in fact it used to be called intuitors.ai and for those of you who want to know, this is what the first version looked like. To train your chatbot, you had to put in all of this information and you had to just essentially custom train it by giving it data. And then it would look like a dashboard like this. So you wouldn't even be able to use the chatbot, not to mention this now doesn't even work. So the changes that have happened in literally the space of, I don't know, a month on this chatbot have been insane. And I just wanted to share the journey and just basically just put this in the book for now and then those of you who want to follow me along this journey I'm heading off to Portugal in the next couple of days so I'm going to be filming content out there the plan is to spend a week just filming content for uh, Chat IQ, and it is going to be a wild ride so hopefully I'll be able to see some of you guys on Instagram you can come ahead and have a look at my TikTok uh, and if you guys want to sign up for Chat IQ, obviously I would love you guys to use it we're constantly developing and if you do have any ideas you can actually submit them through here you can just send in a bug report but you can say you know, here's an idea 
idea we've got uh, and we're constantly improving this product and just for those of you who are wondering I built this myself I marketed this myself I didn't have anyone else helping me now I've got my brother who's just joined up who's actually trying to give me some help with some other parts of the business um, so you can do all of this on your own you do not need to hire an expensive company I bootstrapped this entire thing so I hope this video was useful maybe a bit inspirational to some of you guys I will see you guys in my next video I don't know when it's going to be I'm so busy at the moment but I'm very excited for where this is going.